What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And the invasion is happening. Mom is taking over the house. Got me drinking wine. Stumbling up the steps. Now you on the phone? Not anymore. <laughs> Are you going to be able to get up? I ain't even going to sleep. I, what would be the point? <laughs> oh, you got me on video. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm comfy. That's mom. Took over my room. So, 6 o'clock. We pulling out. I get my watch while I'm up here. No. I'm full. I don't know what the hell I'm going to eat at that restaurant. My stuff will be the go. Well, you can get it to go. I got the watch now, so. Rest up. I'm going to you a change. Well, you can call and change the plan. Now, this is the truth behind the beef with uh, Lil Turk, Young Turk rather, and Lil Wayne. From the beginning, those two was like buddies and everything else. Baby put the wedge in between them early on. What Baby did was favor Wayne over Turk. And that caused a whole bunch of friction. As you saw from Bling Bling, the video, Wayne was just on the hooks. Bling Bling, you know, so when Bling Bling became a big hit and they were going to make the video, all of a sudden, Turf, who had the best verse on the song, you know, I till I die, drink till I faint, you know, they cut him right out. He's not in the video. But it's all Lil Wayne has a verse now, and it's in the video. Because they're getting ready to promote Wayne. So then they put Wayne on all the hooks and made videos for Wayne. So now they're like, oh, well, the people are asking for Wayne. It's like, well, you showcased Wayne when Turk was the one writing rhymes. And him and BG are writing these rhymes even for Wayne. So that caused some friction. But... You know, in time, you know, when he was, like, feuding with cash money and going out with Baby, Lil Wayne was looking out for him. When he got arrested and incarcerated in 2012, Lil Wayne was the one that sent him the money. Made sure he always had some money on his books. Everything. So, I hope that he's not talking about Lil Wayne on his song, Dissing. As somebody who saw these dudes coming up and knew how rough it was for them, and they made it, I just hope that ain't Wayne he dissing. Because it wouldn't make sense. Because even though I say Wayne stopped you from doing your show or whatever, what you're trying to say he did, I really couldn't see him doing that when he's a guy that out of everybody else in the group, not even Baby. Wayne was the one to put up the money when you was in jail. Now, you blaming Baby for everything. I mean, you praising him because he's writing you checks now. That's not cool. That's not real. You don't just go with somebody just because they writing you checks. You actually have to stick with the people that was there before. That's the way the progression works. If they was writing you the checks before, you don't just go with anybody that's writing you checks. You stick with the ones that's true, truly down and truly real. So, I'm not going to go off on the limb and say that was a diss to Wayne, but it appears to be about Wayne. So, just for that alone, it's disrespectful. And he should have clarified that and cleared that up. If he wanted to show alliance to Baby because Baby cut him a check and he wants to do that, then that's foul. 
because he shouldn't be doing it. He makes sneak diss songs in the past involving Wayne and Juvie and all everybody else. But, you know, when somebody has a substance abuse problem, back in those days when he was and did have that, Wayne and everybody was there for him. Now, it's like when somebody don't do something for him or do something that he don't think is fair, here come all the insults, here come it's lame. Baby cut your check, now it's, you know, it's Wayne's fault. Baby could send Turk to go, Turk, you need to say something. And now here come Turk, getting disrespectful. And the track isn't all that at all. It's really lame. Like, it past today, nobody's going to care about it. But I'm just being honest. It's not doing anything to Wayne. So on that note, I'm out.